Whammy Grammy. Whammy Grammy. <laughs> You're a chicken. I think it's a rooster. But, you know. I don't know my fowl that well. Are you... Could be a hen. Are you... Yourself? Uh, I'm Kieran's idea of what I am, I suppose. Kieran's interpretation. <laughs> Do you have all your stuff? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta get low. That's great. Yep. Unfortunately, uh, didn't I gotta, have... I gotta take this off because I can't see or uh, speak. I liked it. Yeah. Um, didn't have the, the 1031 hat like he had drawn, but I had their wheel company, Landshark hat. You don't so have a 1031 one. hat? No, man. It's been too many years since my spawn out is. But you held on to the land shark one just in case they, you know, want to send you another box. <laughs> you should see some of the hats in the box this came from. What other They're what other kind of wearable. stuff? Uh, well, I mean, there was a lot of like leg braces and things in there, so it was like all mm -hmm. stuff from when I was hurting, I guess. Nice, really cool. Yeah, I uh, went for just the mask, a classic choice, a little bit last minute, but um, you know, I did yeah. have some. I did have some good ideas that I just didn't have time for, and you know, maybe I'll just uh, we'll do a, we'll do another Halloween in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of I mean, like everything, it was very last minute. Actually, I was like, "What do I own?" Oh yeah, my clothes. Mm -hmm. um, That's a I great was one. Upset that you had made a costume challenge, and now I'm more upset that you went fucking just chicken head. Whatever. I don't know. It's uh, it's just the the first of many costume challenges, I would say. Okay. I could okay. also be. I'm, I'm also Borat with the Borat shirt. Once again. Or Young Doyle. Or Young Doyle. That's true. I did actually uh, find a nice, a nice clip that we can watch. Um, Cue it up. Love watching stuff. If you see the the name of the clip, it says "fucking sick hammer," which is what it's also called on YouTube. <laughs> All of the slow mos oh. and stuff were done uh, in 2007. Double. Whoa. Yeah. This is just straight off the YouTube. What color are those trucks? I think green and yellow, maybe? Yeah, they look green. Damn, I'll leave that three like it was a two. <laughs> yeah, Scrib is filming. Nice Scrib uh, selfie at the very end. But for those who couldn't yeah. see, it's, uh, it's the same same shirt. Same shirt, different year. Little 14 year difference. Still dropping fucking sick hammers though. That's true. Still got those Probably perfect double flips. Mm, probably take you a while to get that line, that's for sure. Yeah, I think I'll lay down three. I'll lay down long yeah. three. I mean, you got the double flips? Do you got the nolly double heel flips, though, Doyle? <laughs> no. <laughs> I haven't skated. I haven't skated since last Come time. Come on, buddy. What? That crispy 10 chunk was waiting for you. Don't throw I it out. I nailed it to you. Don't throw it no, out. No, it's gone now. Well, it's useless. You didn't learn the trick. What am I going to do with it? I I'll keep trying, and you can just you know decide whether it's still worth 10 bucks when eventually i do it in a few years i don't know maybe i'd put the 10 in gme and by the time you land it it's worth nothing or it's worth everything yeah i guess that's a good thing to do with it too that's just what i've done with all my money so see how that goes right on okay so that answers my next question didn't do any skating so you didn't happen to bang any of those never been done tricks off your list uh we'll kick you back tail when you know no, like Pretty much all of those are, are more than just like a give me a few days and see if I can do it kind of thing because there's a reason I've been skating for like however many years and haven't done them. It's not just because I haven't tried. Oh, uh, well, some of them for sure is because I haven't tried, but... Um, just couldn't find the right recycling bin probably. I know. That's the thing. They don't, they don't make them like they used to. No, man. Maybe a compost bin? Maybe. Maybe something else. I have Can't I have two uh, two VCRs here. They're like pretty perfect height and length for uh, like stacked on top, but about this high total, but this long slide. It's kind of like a like an electric <laughs> recycling bin in a way. I uh, I don't you know I mean I have high hopes for you, buddy, but you seem like more a one VCR kind of guy. Yeah, not a two, some of the not too stacked. Too stacked for like some of them, but like a uh, thing about like a front blunt on a single stack, you'd have to get real. Like I probably would get real on top anyways, 
But uh, have some tail scraping on the ground in solo. <laughs> Not too stacked, maybe too interlocked. <laughs> Two VCRs interlocked, yeah. Right on. Well, it'd be a good use of VCRs for sure. Mm -hmm. Sweet. How's your week been? Not bad, you know, just watched um, all of Last Chance U basketball. I've yet to watch it, but everyone says it's very good. The basketball one's really good. I I when the oh wait I didn't even know there was a basketball one. I was only yeah, doing football. The basketball one just came out uh, last week or a couple weeks ago or something. So, you know, just great, great story. Um, I don't want to say anything if you haven't seen it, because um, anything I would say would be spoiler alert. And you know what? I don't want to spoil it for you. Maybe we make a last chance you for skateboarding. We just round a bunch of old fucks, mm -hmm. and uh, you know. One last kick at the can. <laughs> that would be actually, if there was still a uh, connect the dots, that would be a really fucking funny idea. Last chance of you. Oh my oh God, God, that could be so good. Just wake up on the couch around a bunch of empties. Just like, get it together, Gertz. You got to go kick flip the big gap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fuck, that's funny. That would, that someone should do that. Yeah, I mean, we won't if we don't get paid, right? Yeah, or and we also don't live in the same city, so it'd be hard. I mean, we do this podcast in a different city. I'm sure we could produce an entire TV show over Zoom or whatever this is. That would be unwatchable, I'm sure. I, this is unwatchable, but we still do it. I, so. I know, I know, but you know, this is fun. That would that would be unwatchable and probably not fun. But anyways, moving on. Whatever. Moving oh, right on. Um, I think it was Mark Burnt left left us a comment last week about uh the ronnie krieger topic and that yeah he had a it's good pretty point. pretty day obvious one. yeah day one is like an obvious person we overlooked that's like probably yeah. somehow in a way getting better and he's 46 well getting better in the way that he really just like narrows what he even lets himself do like yeah i because at the time i was like okay we thought about there'd be a million but i after i saw marky's comment i was thinking about it, i was like and even like I, I went back to uh, pro skaters on Wikipedia and looked mm -hmm. through and I was like, yeah, Day One's the answer. Like I was like Guy Mariano, but he's like five years younger more than Day One. Yeah, and he like it's it's like he doesn't produce like either of those guys as examples. Like you don't maybe he has no. some crazy no Day One's stacked, but Day One's putting out every day and he's yoked and he's got a Netflix show or whatever now. Day One does, or he's a voice in an animated show called like City of Ghosts. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Good for him. Well, you don't know everything about Day One, so shut the fuck up. I, I know I don't. I didn't. Even, he didn't even come to mind last week. Obviously, you don't know anything. Do you even know who won Day One song round one? Who won? Or uh, <laughs> Ronnie versus Day One round one? I mean, I, I understand. Yeah, but I don't know who won. No, I'm not that familiar. I'm pretty familiar with round three, though, with my age, with my age group. Um, Sheckler yeah. part, of course. Let's go. So who? Who would you say won round three? There's a lot more people. That was more like a Royal Rumble. There's not a there's not a, a defined winner, is there? Like I can't get this wrong, can I? It's just my opinion. I, I mean, you can get it wrong if you uh, say like uh, I don't know what's that guy it's like Cooper Will something. That's the one. Yeah, if you said <laughs> Cooper Will, then you get it wrong. <laughs> yeah. Um, the guy I can't remember. Yeah, but no, like, definitely if you said, like, day one. Shecky or Haslam or day I, one, you'd be pretty right. It yeah, was I think day it's one. day one. But definitely was a big fan of that Sheckler part when I was a kid. Oh, how can you not be? Yeah, that dope Cure song. Like, one of mm -hmm. the two Cure songs I like. So, Actually, has them had a sweet song, too. Cardigans. Mm -hmm. What was the answer for round one? I don't remember. Okay. I haven't watched those videos since I was I'm a glad child. That, also, there is no winner. Yeah, I'm glad that even the old guy knows that, uh, doesn't know. So. Oh, I'm not. Have... No, I'm not. I'm not old. Oh, okay. Pretty young. Yeah. His hat is slightly sideways. His shirt is... <laughs> pretty loud i mean if i was old and stuffy i wouldn't be dressed like this yeah that's actual true if you're old you wouldn't have tattoos like that drawn on drawn drawn on no i kind of thought that tattoos would get like <laughs> you know like different as i got older like more mature they just mm -hmm. stayed the same mm -hmm. i didn't mm -hmm. really understand how they worked when i got them yeah you ever think about <laughs> ex extending uh the seams down onto your forearms yeah just into like me investing into like rsps and things like um no no i thought about extending them back upward this way though is that oh, really you do? like yeah wait like take the skin off and slide it all up like a sock and like just I, put them ideally up not roll the skin up just like take the pictures off the skin but you know oh gotta go right to the bone 
Yeah, that's, not, the, not the worst yeah. way to shed some pounds. <laughs> true, true. Yep. These are my, uh, actually, no, I had some yesterday. Yesterday were the first socialites I had uh, this year, Doyle. Really? I haven't had any probably since Winnipeg. Still delicious. Still. Yep. They're not preferred. a uh, very popular drink here. Um, I don't know. When I was there, I seemed to drink like a hundred of them. Yeah, but you're not a very popular guy, so like, what you drink doesn't really like influence <laughs> anyone else here. Uh, like, yeah, Gertz, you're also not popular in Vancouver. Mm, just kidding. People here love you. Uh, um, like when we were at Cactus Club that one time, why, and, everyone, what and everyone loved us. Uh, we were just slightly belligerent, I think. Sounds Remember, like we were we were drinking all day, uh, floating in a lake, and then went to Cactus Club. Last time you were here. That. Yeah. Laura hates when we say that story because when I say it, I'm like, yeah, I just woke up on a tube in the middle of the lake and no one was around and I didn't know where I was. Yeah. She's like, that's so dangerous. I'm like, no, I was on a tube. We were watching you a little from a distance. That was fun. We should do that again sometime. Yeah, that was fun. Um, so I have a question I'd like your opinion on. What's more yeah. enjoyable? Um, eating a pizza or watching the new pizza video? Ooh, I like both of them. Um, the new pizza video was definitely longer. Like eating a pizza, I, I hammer it super quick. Mm -hmm. um, but so so say say like the eating a pizza time. Actually, no, just just overall. Uh, which was I more satisfied after? Mm -hmm. um, if it's a good like, I mean, the pizza video was good, so that's a good pizza. And if the pizza I order is good, say like Domino's extra thin, like crispy crust, Alfredo sauce and shit, whew, probably the pizza. Yeah, I'd go with pizza Cause too. Cause I still need to, I still need to eat after the video. I don't need to watch a skate video after I ate a pizza. Yeah, I, I didn't watch the whole pizza video, but I've never like started a pizza and just been like, ah, this isn't really worth watching the whole thing, I don't think, or yeah. eating, eating the whole- Never pizza. been in like the middle of a pizza uh, and was like, that slice, that hey, what's slice on there? Is that, <laughs> is that a Banky Smith burial blip on my pizza? <laughs> <laughs> that slice looks kind of gross. Uh, I don't, I, I, I'll just skip that one and, and go to the next. I don't know about the song on this slice. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're right. I probably never not finished an entire pizza in my life. Unless like uh, yeah, no, you're it, really full, but anyway. No, I usually always finish mine, then I'll finish hers and all that. Mm -hmm. Love it. Love eating pizza, man. It's a really like good watching food. it though. That video, the uh, yeah, the video slapped though for sure. Uh, those guys, I'd say they're in the definitely the top five, probably top three as far as putting out videos consistently. Good mm -hmm. goes. Mm -hmm. It was nice to not see Chase Webb, which is good. Yeah, it, it wasn't. It wasn't. You know, you're like you would have you liked doing, a little more Chase Webb in there. I don't know. Anytime I'm not seeing him, I think that he's like either in jail or dead. He could be. So it was more of a place of concern. He went private on Insta. I'd rather watch Insta. him slide down a thousand banisters than what? He, he's private, private on Insta now, yep. Yeah. After the, uh -oh. the boot from pizza. Yeah, he's getting me too for sure, I imagine. Wait, he's off pizza? Yeah. I didn't know. I, I thought video. it was just like, I thought it was like maybe just like only Am and Ducky. No, he's the off, the, pizza. off the team oh, page. Yeah, I'm assuming he got the he, boot. He's getting canceled for sure. Yeah, there were always like rumors about him on Slap and stuff, but um, you know. Yeah. Who knows? Pizza, man. You, you like when your guys aren't, you know. But they did uh, possibly they did... assaulting chicks. They're killing people and going to jail. Uh, yeah. Um, they luckily did uh, acquire. Oh, wait, did he kill? No, he didn't kill him. But it was attempted murder. Damage. Whatever it was. Um, the uh, they they thankfully acquired my second favorite French skater, which is nice. A good good surprise to see in there. Oh yeah, Vincent Milou. That's your mm -hmm. second favorite French skater. Well, like Aurelien Girard, Vincent Milou, <laughs> and then <laughs> the guy that did the Ooh, like uh, the, the guy that that also skated El Toro that like used to puke in contests all the time. Yeah, yeah, the guy that looks like Chucky Finster that I drew of you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what's his name? He, uh, Adrian, Adrian Boulard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's all yeah. this old footage of him, like, where he just, like, throw up partway through contest runs. Yeah, he's been around for a while. He tray flipped that, like, bursty big five and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. he's nuts. The back tail on El Toro, it looks like it would be an unlanded back tail on a curb <laughs> when lands. It's, like, in the middle of the board. Like, yeah. Do you so, think that's the so most that, like, like, someone's, uh, 
done one trick and like kind of like came into the limelight in a way in other skaters minds and then all like faster than that he was no one remembered that he even did that well, he definitely was around for a while, more Euro. I think tray flips were his jam. And then, yeah, he did back tail del Toro and back tail shoved Hollywood High, 16. Oh, yeah. And then I don't even it. remember that. Oh, I thought you meant. Because he had no. multiple examples of a trick. No, I don't know. I just It was just like the back tail, and then it was like, that's, I feel like that was the end. That was it. That was his ender for good. Do you think your second favorite skater, Vincent Malou, was like, huh, that kind of sucks. So he got the cover for back tail and it, I front blended the same day. And I just get in the pages. I don't think he cared because, like, he, I think he's like has like a skate career now, maybe more than uh, o- Boulard over there. Mm. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm completely wrong about all this. Maybe maybe Aurelien Ger- Aurelien Gerard isn't the best French skater. Maybe I'm just an idiot. But I he's be, the best. Like old you'd have to really skater. yeah, you'd have to really do some convincing to make me think otherwise about him. I like how you say he's like better than like JB or like Who? you know Lucas Puig, Puig or anything. I'm like just, eh, you know Unfam- any of those unfamiliar. dudes that used to be pretty good. They were like Bones Brigade guys. I live like for today, school. man. Yeah, I'm not old school like Lucas Puig, whoever that is. You, you do live for today. Me too, man. Fucking no regrets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. But um, definitely, I feel like oh, the whole pizza video, like. The whole thing yeah. is just like you could you could just be like that trick was really crazy. Oh yeah, that one was crazy. This trick was really crazy too. And, I had to scrub through like, it right before this podcast to be like, was there anything that stood out to me? Because I can't remember. The only thing that stood out to me is uh, that like double rail that they were skating that Vincent Malou does like he does like a half cab double grind on. Um, I yeah. think Ducky also skates it. Maybe someone else too. You, people have been skating that one a bit lately, like primitive dudes and stuff. D- doing like double grinds though not double grinds do you think he started trying like a half cab something or did like the regular double grind or like i just want to know it seems like that was I, I feel like that's the kind of trick that like he was probably skating it and someone else was like oh you should try doing doing double and then he just probably absolutely so easy. any dude like that who just produces and who's like good at skating they're not good at coming up with tricks it's like okay i'll just do a kick with crook and i'll do this and someone has to be like do that thing it's like what oh that's crazy never thought of that and they just do it and then they get on with their day they're always like that when you're skating with them i assume that's what they're (laughs) like they don't call me (laughs) they call you my french isn't as good as it used to be (laughs) true true yeah he's like bonjour i'm Mm -hmm. like yeah yeah anyways Uh, i like I liked, man. I love that. Uh, I mean, I'm sure it's everywhere. The five-o clip where the dude covers it. I'm like, mm-hmm. that is. At first, I was like, oh, the heartbreak. And I was like, wait, no, that's the sickest clip ever. Because you see him get in and you see him land. It's yeah. Like, in the, he didn't do a kick clip in the middle. It just makes it this more iconic, memorable and, clip. And there's another angle, or he went back, which is always went back. Nice. Different, yeah. different day. Yeah. I mean, that's the ultimate. Is to have both. But mm-hmm. I saw the clip's so great. I also liked uh, in the intro, like one of the first clips is that lip slide the hubba to lip slide the rail, where it's like yeah. maybe one of the scariest fails ever. And then also in the intro, it shows him lip sliding just the hubba. And you're like, oh, yeah. it's too bad he didn't get the one with the rail, but like, cool, he still got a yeah. clip. But I mean, then he just made a spaghetti then ha- and then he jacked Then he it has it. Yeah. It's, yeah that it was, was like, crazy. Looks like the shittiest little two by four they threw under there. You're like, I don't know. Like, Hey, Ducky, we've watched enough of your parts. We know you don't care about your life that much. This will probably do. Yeah. Yeah, that was wild. Yeah. I, man, I'm, I'm down for the duck. He brings it every single time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm down too. Um, I know you haven't watched it. Ah, whatever. I won't say anything about it. The, uh, the, All right. That's good the, for a um, podcast, not to talk about something. The Jack O'Grady part came out a day early. Tyler sent me the link. I watched it. <laughs> Tyler never watched it. And then the link got taken down. So I was like, "Hey, I you have, think they accidentally did this? We should I have a few up. things. I, like, I, I feel it. like you can like guess the part. Like it's the the, the I don't know, cover. He slides around a bunch of bends. He grinds yeah, like, a couple of rails at a time. The cover fifty footage is in there. Yeah, and I like it's not a spoiler to say that it looks better than I was expecting um, to see the we footage of. Um, and everything else is just like." I don't know. Could have been the pizza video with all the big, massive rails. I imagine. Uh, I do like, like, he has a good 
uh, I'm kind of out of control when I ride away, but I'm not faking the funk style. Like, mm -hmm. like speaking of like not faking the funk houser, I guess is what I'm trying to get at. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Act. Oh man. Yeah, he's great. I think that I think that was accidentally the funniest thing I ever said. Uh, funniest you've ever said? No. Uh, no most clever. Anyway. Josh the toilet tank um, but was, like, I think, the funniest thing you've ever said. <laughs> the most you lolled on this. Maybe. That was no. the funniest thing you've said to me on this podcast, I think. Josh is like, if it was like, Trey the... Uh, think of something I don't want to say like a toilet tank. Like... <laughs> that really... Uh, Fair enough. Really got Josh me. really liked it. I knew he would like his new nickname. He was he was really happy with it. I'm surprised he didn't change his Insta name to match. I would have I disappointed if I were him. But I I might take it so he can't get it. Yeah. But yeah, Sell no, it. that guy's good at skating. I saw in the um when they put out the trailer, or it was like three tricks, he grinds, it's probably in the part, a big kinking rail that's kind of against the wall. It must be in Australia. Cause um I mean I'm sure he grinds a thousand kinkers, but Dane Berman was like, that's the sickest 50 feet that's ever been done. Really? And then, obviously, a million fucking replies of like, uh, no, dude, yeah, come yeah, from yeah. the guy. Like, Do you think that like, he, was, uh, he was kind of fishing for those responses? <laughs> well, he's responding, he's like, no, he's like, this one's, I used to skate there all the time, this one's gnarly. Like, I mean, yeah. you know his demeanor, he's like, you're a fucking idiot, this is sick, fuck you. Like, um, so it's like, seemingly no but he knows what he's doing he knows he's 50 50 guy and he did the sickest one of all time mm -hmm. way sicker than this one that seemingly looked like a sick but kind of common double kinker it could be like the the classic like downtown rail that's always been there that no, no one's ever stepped to like including dame berman or whatever it must be for some reason for sure i've seen him a million times comment on the Philly thing being like, you know, it's just a 50. I just have to like walk in or whatever. You're like the, watching the, the tries of that one is so fucked where he's like sometimes <laughs> like early grabbing the it. The one he started grabbing it just cause he's like, yeah, Fuck it. it's so crazy. It's so nuts. I would. Yeah. Like I, I really, I think that's the gnarliest skateboard trick ever done. Um, yeah. As far as it death factor be. and how hard it would be to actually land it. Maybe like, like some, uh, no, some like um, uh, mega ramp rail shit, like a tray tray fifty or whatever, something like that. I mean, it's apples and oranges. I guess depends what you're good at. Like if a work guy or whatever, I think that shit isn't nearly as dangerous as the Philly fifty fifty. If you if you were to try one, which one would it be of those two? Out of mega tray, ramp. Well, I mean, tell what's the trick? Tray tray fifty mega ramp. Rainbow tray fifty ramp. mega ramp. One hundred percent. I don't. I don't know if you would clear it though. I would. So <laughs> like, well, I would have to train. You'd have to drop in. So I mean, they build it in a way that it's just the how trajectory. About, how about you right? don't That's why train? Everyone's so light on it. It's it's like scrib scrib. One hit or quit. Go fun, go, We're getting the scribs boot from Bob, and I'm like, can I get one, Bob? Bob, give me one. No, and it's it's imaginary. It. You just like you have you have to either go straight to try one fifty or straight to try one tray fifty. I mean, I guess like the 50 in Philly, cause I like won't be able to ollie high enough that I'll just fall down the stairs. Mm -hmm. But like, if I was to actually try, fuck, actually I guess the <laughs> Philly one. <laughs> well, cause I'm thinking about, I'm like, I'm gonna, I'd be so terrified to go down the roll in. Yeah, for sure. Whereas like on the Philly one, I'd be like, okay, if I'm actually trying to grind it, I'm just worried about like getting the grind and then right away, just bear hug the rail. Mm -hmm. Um. So I have a video here called Controversial Trend. Oh yeah, give that Should a play. Should I pull it up? I sent that to you. Yeah. Chris Joslin. Oh the God, Jossie. no. Oh, I don't even want to watch this. Oh. I, oh no. Hold on, little guy. I feel like this will get taken. Oh, okay. Thank God. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say. Um... I'm not. <laughs> I didn't send it to you for the troll. <laughs> You got is me, this though. a thing that a lot of people are doing? Like, I don't care how confident you are, you do not skate holding an infant. I've seen like, some I know shit it's like not that, fun. for really? sure. Really? <laughs> like, maybe not that young, but there was also like the photo of like there was like a that pregnant uh, chick at yeah, Burnside. Yeah, like very. Yeah, like, I read an interview with her. She seemed great. Yeah, I don't know. That's uh, I'm really glad that he wasn't actually skating. But then there's like. You see, like, Tony Hawk skate, like, his bowl with, like, his, his like, young, young, young... Not an infant, but still. And even then, it's, like, that seems so sketch. Well, you know, you can't, you can't have it both ways. You get to, you know, the Hawk family money. 
but maybe he falls down and <laughs> you have a rock fakey hole in you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's... No, I just, um, like, I thought... It seemed like he was, like, kind of calling someone out, where I'm like, is that a thing? Like... Yeah, maybe we missed it, fucking, and, like, maybe... Uh, Sean Malto's out there crooking rails holding a baby or something. Could be. Oh, God. Yeah, that kind of made me uncomfortable to watch. Um, it's like... It's like he was like, man, I don't care. I'm just going to say it. Like, you don't throw a baby off a roof. Like, yeah, <laughs> we know. Like, yeah, no matter how confident you are you're with not, your throw. You're not, take- <laughs> <laughs> not taking a stand there, Joss. Yeah, holy shit. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Um, so I saw the, on our YouTubes. On our YouTubes? Uh, the, lurker, the Lurker asks... What were some of your longest slash most difficult battles with tricks, either skating or filming someone battle? Fuck, I don't even know. That's a tough one. You go first for skating. I mean, you I, just like have PTSD thinking of like every time your back is just killing you after a session of. Well, I mean, I could say it for both of us, it's every time I skate. Well, I was tr- the first thing that comes to mind is no sliding that parkade rail, but that's just like the one oh, that yeah. always comes to mind. But I know there were more. Um, For me, you weren't there. It's it's that kickflip feeble in Windsor Pool by a long shot. I've never I never used to really go back to spots a lot, just so I'd skate for hours at a time. Try it where it's like, hey, it's just not there. If you don't like break your board or get kicked out, it's mm-hmm. just like try it for everything is like whatever. But that one I would go and I would grind. Up a bunch of them every time and it just wouldn't come in. I was like, I know I can do it. And bless his goddamn heart, Bill was down to film every time in like the blistering sun, he's on a roof. And then eventually landed in like November and he did the clip count and it was a thousand tries. Holy shit. I've definitely never tried something a thousand times. Gross levels. It was three times, three hours each skating by myself. I think for for the longest it's taken me trying a trick in, in, my Nortz part, I did a double tray off like the side of a little bump that was like kind of sketchy. Like and that took a long time and I kept trying after to do a better one. And um, that was probably at least like, that was for sure the most angry I've been trying a trick and probably the longest, like several hours. And then at the end I threw my phone and exploded it for such a dumb, See, I've, dumb trick. Yeah, you're you're an idiot though. Like I've filmed you and you get over it so quick or I think you're like which is weird as a filmer you're so much more concerned of like I think wasting time or like whatever where it's we all make you sit there for a it's million hours the, while we ride up. Yeah, but I want to do that. I don't want to be filmed barely ever, but I like like I enjoy me filming someone is like enjoyable for me in the same way that you doing skating is, you know? So not at all, and you wish you were just drinking? Okay, well, maybe not you. For the average skater that does enjoy skating, that's I used to love it so much. These days, it just hurts. Yeah. How many days do you think you've spent filming me not try a trick, like just right up before even trying? That's a lot. Probably a lot. If you say, like, I don't even want to try to do the math. There's only a minute left here. We'd be here all night. Okay, fuck math- Mary Mill. Mathematics. Fuck Mary, fuck Mary Mill. Russ I don't Milligan, think we have time for Mil- this either. Okay, Milton okay, Martinez. Mm-hmm. I'm doing it. Russ Milligan, Milton Martinez, Chris Mango Millick. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Mary uh, Russ Milligan, fellow uh, Canuck. Uh, fuck. Uh, uh, Milton Martinez, because, you know, he's just a little little guy. Probably be fun. Little ball energy. Oh, and unfortunately, yeah. Chris Millick, he's got to go. I hate to do it because um, I really enjoy his skating, but I'm just not uh, attracted to him that way, I guess. You marry the only guy who you don't possibly get citizenship from? You fucked up, buddy. I don't, I don't want to, What are you talking about? You could get, like, uh, Argentinian? No. I or I could just whatever. stay, in, stay in and, and enjoy my life in beautiful Canada, you know? Whatever, buddy. And on that note... Sorry, Chris Millick. I hope uh, you can forgive me someday. Oh, wait. So, forgot to mention here. Just, uh, was just reading the list here. <laughs> You'd asked me, you oh, yeah. me last week what, uh, to, to check a trick list and make, make a claim mm-hmm. that, we, we could be, that you and the viewers could hold me accountable for. Um, 
I, I, I was thinking about it and I was like, there's a million like little bullshit things more that I want to do these days because I don't want to jump. But I'm like, that's not fun. Like, hey, that curb that no one knows about. So I was like, okay, let's go to the, like the popular ones. At Woodsworth, any real never been done down the stairs or down any of the rails. Like, no, like, okay, I'll just caveman something. Wow. That's a big one. Yeah. It is a big one. I'm pretty old I'm a, and I hate skating. Mostly. Do you have anything that comes to mind that you think you could Hard try? Hard flip front crook. Hardy front uh, crook, yeah. No, um, I mean, the best bet is probably on one like the angled rails. Because like yeah. the one they replaced and all that. It's scary, but not as much tricks. The back like, lift there, you claim? Probably. Oh, man, I, I wanted to do it because it's <laughs> like the... The smallest rail to ever do a backflip on probably mm, the smallest bit, uh, yeah. I, I, yeah nothing nothing comes to mind right now uh because cool. i don't want to have to claim beyond claiming already i'm not mm. it's probably not gonna be down the stairs i can tell you that much because like three jumps down that'll yeah send me to the hospital that's what's exciting is that if it's not going to be down the stairs i don't know what else i can picture you trying down the rail so i'm excited to see what you come up with i'm not but i thought that was a good one to uh that people might actually want to see and will take some work and will make me have to like train and skateboarding a little bit. Yep. Well, cool. Thanks for the little, uh, the little nightcap to the episode there with that info. Right. Um, I would also love you to have one, Alex. Yours doesn't have to be done a handy rail, oh. but I would love you to do it. Fuck you. You threw this at me. Don't, ugh, yeah. Me. But you're, I, I haven't tried to film a trick in like a few years. Um, I'll try to come that's, up with that's something. That's fine, though. Week. I'm 100 years old, and you, next so week. a few years off, you're still way better off. I don't think it works like that. But yeah, I'll try to come up with something. Maybe not for next week, but maybe I'll surprise you with something. Maybe I'll go just get a fucking banger and leak it right for, right for the pod, just for us and anyone who watches. You should. You get, the, you get the quad flip? That's fucking enders, buddy. Yeah. Um, maybe. Alrighty. Whammy Grammy, Tyler. Tyler.